Chapter 1116, Demon The Kiriman Market was the most popular spot in Osaka. There were all kinds of seafood and beef. Most importantly, it was cheap. The prices here were much lower than the private restaurants elsewhere in Japan. Although the food was not as exquisite, the freshness was almost just as good as the restaurants. Of course, this depended on what you ate. When Zaifu had no concept of monetary value. This time, Sakurai Yeko had no entourage by her side. No one was around to carry her wallet for her, but she became the wallet of Lu Shu and Wen Zaifu. She would happily buy anything, as long as they liked it. Then, she shoved a pile of money to Wen Zaifu. She told him that he could buy anything. What she meant was, she would give the money to Wen Zaifu and allow him to do whatever he wanted. To Sakurai Yeko, she was not here to accompany Wen Zaifu. She had her own objectives. She simply needed the help of Wen Zaifu. Since they had arrived, she could let Wen Zaifu play by himself. Although Lu Shu was not happy about accompanying Wen Zaifu, when he saw the king crabs in Kiriman Market, he stopped walking. Sakurai Yeko gave him money without any questions. Hmm. Lu Shu curiously asked, Where is Wen Zaifu? Sakurai Yeko was shy. She said, he said that the things there were very interesting, so he went there to take a look, what else do you want to eat? Roasted snails, roasted scallop, roasted prawn, or black carp sushi? Oh. Lu Shu nodded his head. Let's order everything and try. At that moment, when Zaifu suddenly appeared in front of Lu Shu. Hey, 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 I'm here. When Lu Shu saw him, his expression darkened. Then, he saw two monkey dolls in his hands. He was holding one in each hand. How old are you? Why do you still like this kind of thing? Lu Shu was shocked. How much were they? When Zaifu excitedly said, they are very cute. The one in my left hand cost 20,000 yen. Lu Shu asked, damn, how expensive. What about the one in your right hand? When Zaifu thought about it. Three dams. Lu Shu was dumbfounded. If it had cost 60,000, then just say 60,000. Could you count? When Zaifu sat down on the clean chair in the shop. I'm hungry. Let's eat. Lu Shu suddenly felt that when Zaifu was like a small child. Zhang Weiyu said that back then, he had been very strict when teaching the Imperial Dragon soldiers. Lu Shu felt that Zhang Weiyu and the rest were strict enough when they dealt with the Wen Zaifu, but Zhang Weiyu said that they were incomparable to Wen Zaifu. Someone who could be very amazing had turned out this way. Was this the result of a loss in morals or a twist of fate? At that moment, when Zaifu suddenly said to Lu Shu, Are you worried that I will affect your plan to kill the slave owners? Or do you suspect that I am the person controlling these slave owners? Lu Shu was shocked. He turned to look at Wen Zaifu. He was taken by surprise. Wen Zaifu had revealed his worries. He could not directly ask Wen Zaifu whether he was the mastermind controlling the slave owners. He was worried that he would commit a massacre after the truth was exposed. Lu Shu had great confidence in his training, but he did not have the confidence to face a master alone. Before Lu Shu could reply, Wen Zaifu said, You don't have to worry. I don't have the free time to nurture so many underlings. I will simply kill people. I will not make any plans behind the scenes. Then who sent them? Lu Shu asked in a low voice. There are few people in the Luniverse who are capable of this, right? Yes. Who is able to treat Duanmu Huangqi like an idiot? Wen Zaifu said, I have thought about this for 18 years. 18 years ago, I discovered some fishy areas. After I cut off the outside world, I went to various places to find out the truth, but I could not find anything. There were no answers in the sword hut. There were no answers in the palace of the king of gods. The puppet masters were in the land of forefathers. It was as if someone was hiding in the shadows and laughing silently at me. 
I still don't know how to find them. They are far too prepared. Lu Xu was shocked. Wen Zaifu was also looking for this person, but he had not found anything. What kind of person was the enemy? Wen Zaifu sighed. It would be great if that bout of trouble didn't happen. The slave owners killed everyone they saw, right? I have captured a few over the years. Don't waste your energy. No matter how much you interrogate them, it is hard to obtain useful information. They don't know who they are listening to. How do I know that you are telling the truth? Lu Xu calmly asked. There were too many people in this world whose hearts were hard to read. They might seem pleasant on the surface, but no one knew how they were on the inside. Lu Xu felt that Wen Zaifu was a decent person. He did not feel that Wen Zaifu was evil. But what use was this? What if he was acting? Wen Zaifu smirked. You should trust me. Lu Xu did not know how to reply. They had been discussing important issues. Why did you suddenly say that? Let me tell you. When Zaifu looked at Sakurai Yeko, who was ordering at the counter. He said to Lu Xu, treasure this young lady. I think that she is, quite good. Don't let her cry because of her sadness behind your back. Her tears are the water in her brain. If it dries up, it will be hard to deal with her in the future. Lu Xu was puzzled. What, had he given up on being a lord of heaven? Did you want to become a matchmaker? Sakurai Yeko brought the seafood over. What are you talking about? Nothing. When Zaifu smiled. Miss Sakurai Yeko, could you give me another 100,000 yen? I still have other things that I want to buy. Lu Xu was annoyed. We still have a long way to go. Save some money. What if you spend all the money in one go? When Zaifu thought about it. It made sense. Thus, he asked Sakurai Yeko for 300,000 yen. Of course, Sakurai Yeko would not reject him. She hoped that when Zaifu would shop for a longer time. When Zaifu smiled and said, I will not spend your money for nothing. I will give you something. What weapon are you using? Sakurai Yeko took out the dagger in her sleeve. When Zaifu shook his head. This dagger does not suit you. When Zaifu took out a small purple dagger. There were many flower patterns on the blade. Sakurai Yeko took the blade and observed it. Is there a woman engraved on the blade? That is not a woman. It is a demon that had caused many disasters. After I captured it, I tempered it into the blade, said Wen Zaifu. But when Zaifu did not say what abilities the demon had. Lu Xu felt that it was not weak. If not, when Zaifu would not have offered the dagger. Suddenly, Lu Xu was puzzled. Why had Wen Zaifu given Sakurai Yeko such a valuable item to protect herself in exchange for a few hundred thousand yen? Chapter 1117, Hunting in a Typhoon Why do I feel that you don't have good intentions? Lu Xu suddenly asked as he and Wen Zaifu were walking in front. He had given Sakurai Yeko a dagger and said how tears were water in a woman's brain. It seemed very mysterious. Lu Xu turned to look at Sakurai Yeko. She was still eagerly following behind. She was observing the dagger engraved with a demon. Sakurai Yeko was the leader of the collection of gods, but the best weapons and mythical objects in the collection of gods were not suitable for her to use. Big organizations were not all powerful. Thus, Sakurai Yeko's dagger had always been an ordinary weapon. It was better now. The purple dagger seemed unusual. At that moment, a strand of Sakurai Yeko's long hair was blown in front of her by the wind. It came into contact with the dagger in her hands. The strand of hair was cut into half. Sakurai Yeko did not mind that a strand of her hair had been cut. After all, others would not be able to tell. The more she looked at the dagger, the more she liked it. It was as if the dagger had existed for her sake. 
but she could not summon the demon in public. It would be too conspicuous. But Lu Xu felt that even if she did not summon the demon, countless pairs of eyes were already looking for them. It was as if the entirety of Japan knew that he had run off with the leader of the collection of gods. This had become the hottest news. The owners of the seafood stores unconsciously observed him. They wanted to stare at him, but wanted to act as if it was not intentional. Lu Xu was very uncomfortable. So Kurai Yeko ran to Lu Xu's side. She held her new dagger and asked, Is it pretty? Doesn't it suit me? Lu Xu suddenly felt that to Sakurai Yeko, the most important benefit about the dagger was that it was pretty. The owners of the seafood stores looked at Lu Xu. They wanted to know what good deeds Lu Xu had done in his lifetime. That caused the leader of the collection of gods to be infatuated with him. At that moment, a small girl with a basket of flowers walked up to Lu Xu. She said, Uncle, buy a bouquet of flowers for sister. Lu Xu was dumbfounded. He was not old enough to be called uncle. He fiercely said to the young girl, its brother. This time, the girl was dumbfounded. Uncle, buy a bouquet of flowers for brother. Lu Xu was speechless. Lu Xu looked at Sakurai Yeko. Sakurai Yeko's gaze was uncertain. Suddenly, she said in a small voice, I didn't arrange that this time. So you had arranged that last time, right? Lu Xu helplessly laughed. The magician's acting was very good, but everyone knew that there was no such coincidence in this world. While Lu Xu was in a dilemma, a strong gust of wind blew. The sky changed in color. It looked as if it was about to rain. Before they set off, they had taken a look at the weather forecast. A typhoon was approaching Osaka. It was not suitable for going out. The owners of the seafood stores were worried. Once the typhoon came, the tourists would not dare to go out. The business at Kiramon Market would drop drastically. One of the owners smiled at Lu Xu. Do you want to buy some more seafood? After all, we won't be able to make any more business today. I will sell them to you at a cheaper price. Lu Xu was about to agree, when Wen Zaifu suddenly said in a proud tone, If the wind reaches this place, it will be my loss. As he spoke, Wen Zaifu flew towards the direction where the typhoon was. Lu Xu did not know whether to laugh or to cry. Why was he competing with a typhoon? But at that moment, Lu Xu suddenly pulled Sakurai Yeko behind him. Then, he smiled at the young girl who was selling flowers. Little girl, you should go home. It is not safe here. The next moment, Sakurai Yeko saw people dressed as tourists surrounding them. There were a few dozen people. They had been hiding in the crowd until when Zaifu went to deal with the typhoon. Lu Xu had realized this early, but had not done anything. He was able to discover them as he was a sensory type. How could he not have sensed a group of rank ones approaching them? However, he had not attacked as he knew that as long as when Zaifu was around, they would not appear. Lu Xu had not come to Japan to hide from the slave owners. He was here to kill them and deliver a warning to the rest. Their objective was no longer Sakurai Yeko. It was Lu Xu. Sakurai Yeko looked at them from behind Lu Xu's back. Suddenly, she felt unusually safe. A few days ago, when Lu Xu had come, although she knew that a large group of slave owners had come to earth and were targeting her, she was not afraid ever since Lu Xu had arrived. This sense of security was a form of trust. She knew that Lu Xu would protect her and prevent her from being injured. The young man who had proclaimed that everyone should stick with the dealing of money had not done so himself. Lu Xu said in a soft voice, When we are fighting, don't leave my side. Got it? He counted. There were 13 rank 1s and 24 rank 2s. Suddenly, Lu Xu was dumbfounded. Did they not know about his achievements on the limestone road? Were they trying to target him? Lu Xu felt a chill. He was very clear that these slave owners, as well as the mastermind, were not foolish. 
if they were not willing to sacrifice their lives, they definitely had an escape route. These slave owners did not intend on postponing this. They went into formation very quickly. This was an organized hunt. The slave owners had arrived in Japan early on. They had probably waited patiently in ambush for today. Lu Xu thought about it. Had they been planning to draw him out of China? Was he the prey they were looking for? But, there were so few slave owners. This was not enough. The owners of the seafood stores in Kiraman Market realized that something was not right. Someone picked up the phone and called the police. To everyone, although the news that the leader of the collection of gods had been taken away, they felt that this young couple was very cute. But it was useless to call the police. Suddenly, it seemed as if a purple wind blew past. Lu Xu watched as the purple wind blew past the slave owners. Then, their chests seemed to have been put under massive pressure and collapsed. Their spines suddenly jutted out of their backs like camels. A girl dressed in purple stood on the street. She turned and looked at Lu Xu. She smiled. Did you miss me? Lu Xu was dumbfounded. Sakurai Yeko nervously asked in a small voice, Lu Xu Kuen, who is she? Yu Fuyao, said Lu Xu calmly. Chapter 1118, Like the New and Hate the Old Lu Xu felt that it was getting more and more messy. If Wen Zaifu had come, then so be it. But why was Yu Fuyao here too? Could the Lords of Heaven from the Luniverse stay in their own territory and take a stroll there? It seemed like Ching Kong was the only one who had not come. Lu Xu felt that it was very symbolic for Lords of Heaven to come to Earth. This meant that the Earth and the Luniverse were continuously integrating with each other. Not only had the pathway opened, the people of the two worlds were interacting with one another too. Perhaps one day, the people from Earth would go to the Luniverse, and the people of the Luniverse would go to Earth. If there was peace, they would go for travel. However, if they could not live in harmony, it would mean war. Lu Xu did not expect Wen Zaifu and Yu Fuyao to come. But there was something good about this situation. Once Yu Fuyao attacked, the slave owners that Lu Xu had been worried about would be settled. The slave owners would be killed by Yu Fuyao in seconds even before they could react. It was the simplest and most direct method. Needless to say, masters could easily defeat rank ones. Lu Xu was simply the strongest person besides the masters. Lu Xu had a lasting impression of Yu Fuyao. After all, she had occupied his bed every day. Of course he would remember her. But Lu Xu thought about it. Not all the slave owners had arrived. Southeast Asia was very big. The slave owners would not be able to cause so much trouble with only a few people. Yu Fuyao stood among the corpses, as if it was none of her business. The owners of the seafood stores were speechless. They were very sure that Yu Fuyao had flown here. But the way her purple dress fluttered in the wind and her elegant aura made her seem like a deity. But this deity killed people more easily than they killed crabs. Yu Fuyao looked at Sakurai Yeko who was behind Lu Xu. Suddenly, tears trickled down her cheeks. Do you have another girl now? Men really like the new and hate the old. Lu Xu's face darkened. Don't speak nonsense. The owners of the seafood stores stared at Lu Xu. They knew that the girl behind Lu Xu was the leader of the collection of gods. After all, Sakurai Yeko was more well-known in the country than celebrities. Everyone recognized her. Thus, they also knew that Lu Xu had run away with the leader of the collection of gods. It was as if they were eloping. Now, another girl had caught up. Was she Lu Xu's ex? What did this have to do with anything? Everyone had just been observing. Although the leader of the collection of gods seemed very impressive, Sakurai Yeko was an ordinary girl. It was normal for her to talk about love, right? Although the onlookers did not know that the relationship between Sakurai Yeko and Lu Xu was not what they imagined, they enjoyed what they were observing. 
now that this had happened, they felt indignant for Sakurai Yeko. They looked at Lu Xu as if they were looking at a man who had seduced and then abandoned a woman. Although the sellers did not have any interactions with the collection of gods, the Japanese treated Sakurai Yeko well. In the past, the collection of gods had used the strength of the entire country to nurture their practitioners. Now, the collection of gods was more kind and gentle. They controlled the economy and resources. Furthermore, they lived in harmony with the civilians. Furthermore, Sakurai Yeko was good-looking. In an age where looks were everything, people preferred her over Takashima Tairatsu, who was old and looked like a politician. Thus, this time, they felt that although they had nothing to do with the collection of gods, they could not allow such a cute girl to be tricked. One of the store owners could not take it. I didn't expect such a handsome boy like you to be a cheater. Lu Xu's expression darkened. What cheater, he looked unkindly at you Fuyao. The person had spoken in Japanese for Sakurai Yeko and the passersby to hear. Lu Xu could not explain himself. He looked at Sakurai Yeko and realized that she was spacing out. She seemed to be dejected. But Sakurai Yeko did not just care about her sadness. She said to Yu Fuyao, Hello, sister. I have nothing to do with Lu Xu. I hope that I have not disturbed you. This time, Yu Fuyao was dumbfounded. She did not know whether to laugh or to cry. She said, No, no, I was just joking. I have nothing to do with him. But keep your eye on him. Her clothes fluttered in the wind. I don't know whether there will be any relationship in the future. The hope in Sakurai Yeko's eyes was restored. Yu Fuyao observed her surroundings. She seemed rather curious about Kiraman Market. As for Lu Xu, he was wondering when Wen Zaifu would return. At that moment, the gray clouds and spout had all been dispersed. Wen Zaifu had gotten rid of the typhoon with two waves of his hand. He dispersed the wind on his first wave and dispersed the clouds on his second. Many people would feel cheerful when there was sunshine after rain. However, they had never seen anything like this. Just a moment ago, the sky was full of gray clouds. The next moment, the sky was blue once again. Masters were like deities when they became the natural law. Many deities who had been made up were probably not as powerful. Lu Xu suddenly thought about it. Had these deities actually existed? For example, the previous magically rich era? Lu Xu looked at the sky. He thought, hurry up and come back once you are done. What are you waiting for? He was not hoping that Wen Zaifu would save the situation. He was not familiar with Yu Fuyao. Even if they had slept on the same bed, they were not close. Thus, Lu Xu thought that Wen Zaifu's return would relieve the current situation. But it was as if Wen Zaifu had disappeared. No one knew where he had gone. Lu Xu said in a cold voice, Are we still playing together? If not, I will go back. Ahem. Wen Zaifu appeared behind Lu Xu. What's the rush? I just dispersed a storm. Let me sort out my feelings. Lu Xu suddenly realized that Wen Zaifu was intentionally avoiding Yu Fuyao. He did not want to interact with her. Lu Xu laughed out loud. Ha! Ha! The both of you are lords of heaven. You should be on good terms. Yu Fuyao laughed coldly. Three years ago, he took away three of my rank one patrons. I haven't settled that with you. Oh, over one hundred years ago, he broke my memorial. I haven't settled that either. The people of the Luniverse were indeed different. They could talk about grudges that dated back to one hundred years ago. Chapter 1119, Too Much Information While Lu Xu was listening to Yu Fuyao, he suddenly realized that there was some important information. When Zaifu seemed to be investigating something. If not, why would he have captured Yu Fuyao's patrons? Furthermore, he had caught three of them. Earlier, when Wen Zaifu said that he was not the mastermind behind the scenes, 
Lu Xu did not fully trust him. After all, even though he could read their expressions, he would never truly know their intentions. Even if he was good in the past, he might have changed, like Duan Mu Huangqi. Zhang Weiyu said that although Duan Mu Huangqi was ambitious in the past, he was very loyal. He knew his limits. He was very different from who he was now. He dared to commit a massacre in the palace. Thus, Lu Xu did not completely trust anyone. This was a struggle for power. One could not advance simply with one's intuition. He was being responsible for himself by remaining doubtful. Now, Yu Fuyao had helped Wen Zaifu prove a few things. Furthermore, Lu Xu suddenly realized that Wen Zaifu had asked him whether he could take a look at the memorials of Yu Fuyao and Duan Mu Huangqi. He really liked looking at the memorials of others. Which dignified Lord of Heaven broke the memorials of others? Wen Zaifu looked at Yu Fuyao. You can't say that without any evidence. Do we still need evidence? Yu Fuyao laughed coldly. Then capture my patrons, said Wen Zaifu with a wave of his hand. What, are you annoyed at them again? Do you want me to help you capture them? Yu Fuyao laughed coldly. Did you think that I would be tricked? Lu Xu felt that the relationship between Wen Zaifu and his patrons was very elusive. When the aristocrats sent their armies to the battlefront, he had also sent his soldiers there. He even asked another lord of heaven to capture his patrons. Did you not want to be a lord of heaven? Did you not want your own underlings? When Wen Zaifu heard Yu Fuyao's words, he started to act shamelessly. Then you decide what to do. We will settle these accounts in the future. Then, Yu Fuyao grabbed Sakurai Yeko's arm and walked out of Kiraman Market. The action was natural and familiar. Before Sakurai Yeko could understand what was happening, Yu Fuyao started to talk to her. They walked together like sisters. They almost held hands as they walked. Lu Xu was dumbstruck when he saw this. Could females form friendships this quickly? Of course, Lu Xu had also heard that females could become friends very easily, but they would not grow as close as men would. Yeko and Sakurai Yeko walked in front, while Lu Xu and Wen Zaifu followed behind. Lu Xu suddenly felt that something was wrong. They were supposed to bring Wen Zaifu out to play. From the looks of things, Yu Fuyao had mysteriously joined them. She did not even discuss with them whether they wanted to travel. She did not ask where they were going to either. Then, it was as if the four of them had set off together from the beginning. The owners of the seafood stores were dumbfounded. What was this? Were you not planning to clean up the corpses on the ground? Did you leave just like that? Should they still continue their business for the day? Then, five minutes later, a large group of members from the Collection of Gods came to Kiraman Market. They efficiently and professionally placed the corpses into body bags. They loaded the bags onto the cars and quickly left. Then, the Collection of Gods checked all their belongings. They hoped to be able to obtain useful information. Motegi Tashimitsu who was cleaning up the scene after Sakurai Yeko, could not understand the situation. If she was right, two Shinsong Jing experts were traveling with Lu Xu and Sakurai Yeko? Motegi Tashimitsu looked at the corpses on the cars. They had all died in a single blow. There were no exceptions. According to the descriptions from the owners of the seafood shops, these people had died in the blink of an eye. Motegi Tashimitsu did not know how strong they were, but according to the slave owners Lu Xu had killed, they were at least class Bs. This meant that the girl in a purple dress had the ability to kill over 30 class B experts in an instant. Furthermore, there were definitely class As among these people. Motegi Tashimitsu's expression was slightly strange. She realized that ever since the ninth heavenly king had come to the collection of gods, many mysterious things had happened. It was not that Shinsong Jing experts were everywhere. These Shinsong Jing experts all had some connection with the Ninth Heavenly King. Lu Xu looked at Yu Fuyao and Sakurai Yeko, who were chatting in a low voice. He softly asked, 
Do you understand you, Fuyao? Wen Zaifu shouted, Of course I understand her. If I am serious, she might not even be able to defeat me. Lu Xu was puzzled. Was this the time to be proud? Who asked you whether you would be able to defeat you, Fuyao? I'm saying, said Lu Xu in a small voice, does she have any relationship with the old king of gods? No, said Wen Zaifu confidently. Haven't you seen her memorial? You definitely have, right? <laughs> I've seen it before too. Lu Xu said, can this conversation continue properly? There's no relationship. The king of gods protects himself like jade. Even his, has never touched him, let alone you Fuyao. When Zaifu shook his head. Lu Xu suddenly felt that there was too much information when he talked to Wen Zaifu. He suddenly asked, then why don't you tell me about it? I can't. Wen Zaifu suddenly laughed. I've told you everything. Accompany me to play. If you want to know more, listen to me. Ha! <laughs> Dot. Lu Xu was expressionless. He felt like hitting Wen Zaifu. He thought about it and asked, last question for today. Does the king of gods have any sons? Wen Zaifu looked like he was about to laugh. He looked at Lu Xu. What do you think? Lu Xu was shocked. What in the world? But Wen Zaifu did not answer him. When Lu Xu put together what Wen Zaifu had said and analyzed the information, Wen Zaifu had said that the one beside the old king of gods had never touched him. As a young man who had received modern education, he deduced from a scientific point of view that the old king of gods did not have any sons. At that moment, when Zaifu suddenly said, Don't underestimate you, Fuyao. She is not as simple as she looks. At least, she is smarter than Duanmu Huangqi. Lu Xu was puzzled. He looked at Wen Zaifu. She did save me, even though I would have been able to defeat those slave owners even without her. Ah, uh. I'm hungry again. Wen Zaifu sighed with emotion. Are we going to Hokkaido next? I heard that the onsen shops in Hokkaido are over 100 years old. It sounds very interesting. Lu Xu glanced at Wen Zaifu. His ability to change the topic was unparalleled. Chapter 1120 The Three Rules The three people trip had turned into a four people trip. Lu Xu was in despair. He was already annoyed at having Wen Zaifu around. Now, he had to deal with Yu Fuyao as well. To be honest, Lu Xu was slightly worried about his safety. He could not provoke these two people. Most importantly, they did not save their money. They spent more quickly than thieves. After Sakurai Yeko broke free from the control of the conservatives and controlled the collection of gods, she should have been more mature. But to Lu Xu's shock, the current Sakurai Yeko was even more innocent and naive. The reverse growth in her mental age was probably because she had put down many responsibilities. People matured because they had to bear many responsibilities. They experienced humor that no one applauded. The loyalty that caused them to suffer. The trust that they were betrayed. The love that would never be reciprocated. They were forced to mature and turn all of these into the power to protect themselves. If one could be free of worry like a child, who would be willing to mature? But Lu Xu felt that Sakurai Yeko's innocence was frightening. As long as when Zaifu and Yu Fuyao said that they wanted to buy something, she would buy it for them. As per the request of Yu Fuyao and Wen Zaifu, Lu Xu and Sakurai Yeko brought them to the sea. According to their three rules, they would simply travel. They were not allowed to injure ordinary people. They were not allowed to spend extravagantly. They had to control themselves and save money. The rules had been brought up casually, but when Zaifu and Yu Fuyao agreed. When Zaifu disappeared in the sea. Yu Fuyao stood by the sea, thinking about something. Then, she followed Wen Zaifu into the sea. Lu Xu was puzzled. There were seas in the Luniverse as well. Why did Wen Zaifu and Yu Fuyao want to come to the sea? 
This did not seem to make sense. If they had lived inland for a long time, it would make sense if they wanted to see the sea. But they were lords of heaven from the Luniverse. Why did they request to see the sea? Were there secrets at the bottom of the ocean? Lu Xu wanted to go down and take a look, but he felt that he could not interfere with the lords of heaven. When they entered the ocean, Lu Xu asked Sakurai Yeko in a small voice, You are not close to them. There's no need to spend money on them, right? Although you were the head of the collection of gods, were very rich, and controlled the economy of Japan, there was no need to be so compassionate. Sakurai Yeko happily smiled. This way, they will feel more welcome and stay here longer. Lu Xu was silent. He wanted to say, Sakurai, you are already very good. You are like a cherry blossom. All you have to do is quietly stand there. People cannot help but stare at you. Even if Wen Zaifu and the rest stayed here for 100 years, Lu Xu could not accompany them for 100 years. He had his own life. Sakurai Yeko seemed to have understood what Lu Xu was thinking. She smiled and looked at Lu Xu, Lu Xu Kuen, there's no need to be troubled. They won't be here forever, right? Lu Xu was dumbfounded. She seemed to have destroyed his dream with her smile. At that moment, there was a massive crash beneath the surface of the water. Even the seawater started to surge because of this movement. The water continued to rise. It was as if a tsunami was forming. This was the strength of masters. The impact of their movements was massive. Lu Xu looked behind. Behind them was a city. If the tsunami hit the city, many people would die. Why have they started to fight? Sakurai Yeko was puzzled. I want to know as well, said Lu Xu in a serious tone. But they did not have the time to think deeply about this. Lu Xu knew that it had been wise of him to not go underwater rashly. If not, he might not be able to bear the impact of their fight. He stood by the sea. The next moment, his water-type abilities were in action. The water, which was approaching the city, stopped for a moment. Then, it was as if a large hand had pushed against the water, returning it to its original state. But when Zaifu and Yu Fuyao did not stop. The tsunami rose again and again. Lu Xu could only push back the water again and again. What was happening? The two masters had suddenly started to fight. He had to deal with the resulting waves and prevent any innocent lives from being lost. The more it happened, the more he wanted to know what was happening underwater. Has anything strange happened in the waters here? Lu Xu curiously asked Sakurai Yeko. No, Sakurai Yeko shook her head. We have searched the surrounding waters. We discovered the deep sea white sand when we were exploring the area. Now, we have mined all the deep sea white sand. Try to recall. They would not suddenly attack for no reason, said Lu Xu as he furrowed his eyebrows. There is really nothing else, Sakurai Yeko was frustrated as well. At that moment, when Zaifu rushed out of the water. Yu Fuyao followed behind him. The two of them came to Lu Xu and Sakurai Yeko. When Zaifu said, Did you see what I caught? Lu Xu looked at the two large crabs in Wen Zaifu's hands. So you went to catch crabs? If not? Wen Zaifu laughed cheerily. Lu Xu carefully observed Wen Zaifu and Yu Fuyao. They looked as if they had not fought at all. It was not that they had not fought. Neither of them wanted to say why they had fought. Yu Fuyao evaporated the water on her body. Then, she pulled Sakurai Yeko to pick up shells on the beach with her. Lu Xu looked at Wen Zaifu. He asked, Why did you fight? Wen Zaifu was decent for once. Be careful of this woman. I take back what I said earlier. I don't think I can defeat her. Lu Xu was dumbfounded. It was rare for Wen Zaifu not to boast. This was very rare. Before he could say anything, a few staff dressed in uniforms ran over. The tsunami had shocked them. 
When they came to take a look, they realized that the sea was calm. The tsunami had disappeared. They looked at one another helplessly. Then, they said to Wen Zaifu and Lu Xu, This place is very dangerous. Did you see the tsunami just now? Please leave quickly. Lu Xu felt that the tsunami was not dangerous at all. What was dangerous were the people who were able to create tsunamis. The tsunami had disappeared. The staff even suspected that they had been hallucinating. The staff, who were more relaxed now, suddenly saw the two crabs in Wen Zaifu's hands. He said, Did you catch them from the sea? Don't you know that private fishing is not allowed here? I will have to fine you. Lu Xu said in a low voice, The three rules. In the past, Wen Zaifu did not have to banter with ordinary people. However, he had agreed with the three rules. If not, Lu Xu would not have brought him out to play. Wen Zaifu looked at the crabs in his hands. They are my pets. The staff laughed coldly. How can you prove that they are your pets? Wen Zaifu said, if I throw them out and call their names, they will come back. The staff was shocked. I don't believe you. Try it out. Wen Zaifu threw the crabs back into the ocean. The staff said, call the crabs back. Wen Zaifu was puzzled. Crabs? What crabs? What does it mean to be happy? Cause it looks like we all don't know Glass half full or empty Man, we just put them on the show Try to look to the heavens To tell us things that we better